Hello and welcome to Zilonka. Somewhere new, somewhere different, hopefully somewhere fun. We've just arrived, come off the train. We are here, we have purchased a new farm. I say a new farm, we've purchased a rather old farm. We got it quite cheap. The farm has quite a sad story to it. You know, out here, many of the young healthy men have uh, been called back to their motherlands to defend it. And uh, unfortunately, the rest of the family were no longer to main able to maintain the farm. It was put up for sale. We are gonna try and rectify it. We are gonna try and build upon this farm and uh, make good of what is quite a poor situation. But first, I need to find it. It's situated just on the outskirts of the main Zolonka town. We're going to have to uh, familiarise ourselves with the cultures and the ways. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a journey. It's going to be something a little bit different, we hope. So let's get on with it. Zolonka. Here we go. I believe our new home is just up on the right here. And with it, it has come with, for the area, quite a substantial plot of land. There's there's a lot to uh, to get stuck into. That's us on the right there. We're going around the other side. We're not too far from the local uh, vehicle store, machinery store, so we can uh, purchase and lease quite easily, which is a nice change. We like to be uh, we like to be efficient in what we do. So here it is. This this is home now. We've sort of made it our own already. It's a little bit different from others may see if they come here. I thought we'd have a little change and try something different. So, shall I show you what I've brought? Obviously we've got our house, very nice house. We have brought our Range Rover over from Deloina. That's sort of where we're picking up from, from Deloina, which isn't too far from here to be honest. So you just had to catch a train or a little drive and a train and we've arrived. So yeah, very nice. Now we have got the old family truck. We'll probably keep this because it does have a flatbed on the back. A little bit dirty, could do a clean. I should imagine a lot of what we, what we see here is gonna be a bit dirty and a bit used and a bit old. Plenty of vegetable boxes. We've already got some seed in here, so pretty much set up, ready to run. So we just we just brought it as is. Got a lovely little Deutschvar, the uh, F6L319, the M2680. She's an olden. Hopefully she's in good nick. Got a few other bits at the back of the shed there. This must be the fertilizer station. Is that an old massive fertilizer spreader? Yep, nothing big here. It'll be our grain storage. I wonder if there's anything in there. I wonder if we've got anything to get us going with. Now there are chickens. They just sort of left them. They asked us if we want to get rid of them. I said, just leave them be. They'll be fine. So we've got some chickens. Oh, we've got a little chick as well. Look at that. You love to see it. Then we've got the the main storage shed. We've got all the old equipment. So we've got a cultivator. We've got a planter of sorts here. I believe this is for preparing the soil for planting. After I guess after the cultivating stage. If we have a look in the shed, we've got some very old machinery. Got a lovely little old Fiat 16090. That'll do us. Is this an old an old cord? It's not very big. We've got a lot of land. That, that might be a bit small. No wonder they struggled. Old Ursus. Look at this. This is a classic bit of Eastern European farming right here. All set up, ready to go. What's on the back? A uh, DeWolf. This is a harvest. This is for getting up a uh, select root crops. So that's, uh, that's all good. We are having some fun with that. Then over on this side, we've got ourselves a Zator Crystal. Again, that could do with a clean. That sells a plow. I believe that's a uni a plow. So very, very local is the machinery. A couple of trailers. We set a grain trailer. We've also got a flat trailer over here. Looks like it's set up for bales. We'll have to check if there's some more sides laying around somewhere so we can adjust that too. Two trailers would be pretty handy. Now, as well as this plot, and this plot I'll show you, comes with let's say, a fair bit of land, and it's already... <laughs> planted okay so we have this plot over here this is ours this empty field is ours this plot here is ours you'll find while we're out here as well a lot of the farms a lot of the land are just plots sort of a breakup 
from the Cold War and communism. Everyone owned a little bit, not a lot, no one got rich, and that's how they survived. So we have this plot as well, this is ours. Got both of these. I think we've got sorghum here by the looks of it. Oops, this one. Parsnips. I think we've got parsnips and carrots. So it's a good job we've got the uh, the vegetable picker. What's in this field? Is that wheat or canola? Okay, that's ready to harvest. That is, both of these are ready to harvest. Not sure what sort of window we've got for that over here. What have our neighbours got? Soybeans. Carrots. They've got their carrots in as well. Perhaps ours weren't carrots then. We'll have to have a proper look. Dig them up and have a look. That's when we'll know what it is. We've not done a lot of baseball. We've always done a bit of arable and dairy farming. So that's why this is going to be different for us. It's going to be a nice change. Yeah, there was definitely parsnips in that one. Yeah, I'll run around over. Yeah, we're looking to try and do something a little bit different and a slower pace shall we say that's what i'm after here with everything that is a mad rush on shire farm we're going for a slower pace and uh, just look to take it easy so we've got red bee red bee now this isn't the only land as well like i say we do own quite a substantial plot the family that actually owned the farm owned a share in a local uh, soup factory as well in purchasing the farm we brought the shares so we, we are in cohorts with the, the local tinnery and uh, we can produce our goods and we can take them there and then we can earn a profit off what they sell which is quite handy this is a storage shed this is where we can pop in our pallets and things when we get them store some things in there nice little job that so i think what i'll do is i will take you out and we'll look at some of the other plots of land that we brought We've got plenty of time i think if we head out right from here past the dealer there should be a small road. That should take us by one of our plots. Nope, that's not it. That is the dealer, that is. Can we get out around the back here? So say, we've got to find our way about here. But we can't get out here, that's fine. See, everyone, everyone owns a small plot. There's almost a plot for every house. We're going to have to familiarise ourselves with uh, getting around, make sure we can find the fastest and efficient routes. Although we're going for a laid back approach here, we don't want to be getting lost all the time. I think. Turn right here. This is us. So we own this field, this empty one, and we've also got, by the looks of it, wheat in this field. So they were in, looks like they were in swing for a really good year. They just ran out of money or just, I think they just lost, lost a lot of heart with everything that's been going on out this way. Lost a lot of heart, we're doing some stuff. We do own this shed. This shed comes with it as well. This is ours. I'm not sure if they're fresh potatoes or Martin potatoes. We'll have to investigate in that. And then in our shed here, we've got a little old international. We've got the farm hill, N66. We've got a Grim GL26F. That is a potato planter, if I'm not mistaken and a potato harvester with the uh, Grim WR200. Again, all looking well used, well loved. And we've got a little bit of fertilizer in here as well, my God, so much. So this is sort of set up for potatoes. So we'll have to have a look. Find out when's a good time to be uh, planting our spuds. I guess we'll stick them in here. I think we can get this cultivated and, and ridged maybe. And then we do have another plot of land and that is sort of north of the town so we'll take a little trip through town zup zup over there that's what we own shares in so we go and have a little look so we can bring our vegetables 
counter sups up. I believe they make parsnip, carrot, potato, and uh, beetroot soup, which is uh, quite unusual. We've never had beetroot soup before. So yeah, we are part owners of Zup Zup. We'll get a small profit off whatever's made here. I believe that's their, their delivery of the truck. There's that little old Tatra. It's Tatra Phoenix. I quite like them, so uh, perhaps we'll get a little turn in that as well. But yeah, this is ours, in part. Not all ours, but a little bit ours. We might look to see if we can we can make a success of it. Maybe we'll see if we can buy it outright. No one at all. Have all the goods, all the profits. So yeah, if we come round onto the main the main road through town, through the town of Zaloinka, I think we can get there if we go right here. We do own a couple of small plots right up to the north, just just out of town. Gas station, have to remember that. We want to be running that fuel. So yeah, as you can see, it's uh, a little bit sorry for itself around here, but that is Eastern Europe at the moment. Beautiful place, beautiful people. Hard times for generations. We'll do what we can to improve things around here. <laughs> not sure how much I can improve on things, but we'll do our part. We're not coming in as a hero or anything, but it is a nice quaint little town in Zoinka. We don't want to be causing any troubles here. Hopefully we can grow to a size that we can maybe create create some prosperity for the community by uh, hiring people, having some workers, take people on payroll, try not to run over the pedestrians and all that business. There is there is demand for livestock as well. So whether we get into that, we are prolific dairy farmers, so maybe we'll try something else. We've had a hand in everything. Maybe, maybe we could have a go at being pig farmers. I think our plot of land is up this way. Like I said, it's just north of town. Not that way. Let's see, perhaps it's further over. We'll take the next road over. Perhaps it was round the back of town. Maybe we'll take this track and see if this leads us anywhere. Anywhere good. Nope, that didn't take us the right way. So... I think I think there was a right turn in town. So we'll take that junction and see if that takes us out. Is this the way? This could possibly this looks like it could be. Let's go have a look. Lots of small fields. Looks very similar. We've got got a lot of learning to do. This big, big red building. This, uh, this is familiar from the from the package we were sent. They did give us directions. So I just didn't read them. Wouldn't be right if I didn't get lost. Now I don't think. I don't think there's anything up this way, but. Again, we do have a couple of small plots. And this one has carrots in. So we've got a little bit of everything to harvest straight away. Like I say, we can uh, get stuck into working with the with the soup factory. And obviously we've got this one that's empty, waiting and ready. It's being limed. That's it, out here. This is our little spot away. What we get done up here, I don't know. So there's not going to be any rush. We'll do what we can and enjoy it. I think this one was all empty. I think we've seen all the machinery that was on the itinerary. But we've got plenty of storage up here. Should we wish to develop further? Right, let's see if I can find my way back to the farm and uh, we'll assess things a little bit more there. I tell you what, I got turned around <laughs> left and right in all kinds of ways. I didn't know if I was coming or going, but I finally found my way home. Lovely little drive though. I thought he was coming a bit quicker. Come you on, chap. Oh, now you're gonna right you. Cheers, mate. Still got funny drivers, I see. So you might be wondering what we've brought with us. In the back, all I've picked up, I brought a bucket, toolbox, a walking stick, and a spade. Because I thought they might come in handy. Uh, we've got a small trailer with us. 
Okay, might come in handy. Lug some stuff about. So let's have a little look at our actual land. Let's have a look at our map. From here we can get a much better view of it. As you can see, we're quite central to the area. Town is off on the west side. We've got the train track and the main road over on the east side. But you can see we've got these plots of land here around the farm. Our first lot that we went and visited with the potato equipment, that's down here. And then the ones that I had trouble finding are over here. I went all the way up on that track. I went too far. So as you see, we're, we're quite well spread. At the moment, we've not got a lot of money for expanding. We've got about 50 grand in the bank, so we do need to uh, make some money. Let's have a look and see if anything is ready for harvest yet. Everything. Okay. <laughs> Turns out we've got our work cut out. I think what we'll probably try and tackle today will be the grain harvests. I should imagine they've got the short, the shorter shelf life before they wither. What did we have? We had sorghum and canola. So yeah, today we definitely need to get started on the canola. I think the sorghum, the sorghum's good for a little while. And our carrots, beets and parsnips, they've got a few bumps on them. So we're in no rush for them. It's nice. It's nice that there's a nice window. There's a lot of nice in that, weren't there? A nice window to harvest those because I think they're going to take us a little while, especially when we get used to doing something new. But our little canola field, that shouldn't take us too long. So uh, we'll go get stuck into that for a first job. Took a little bit of time to try and familiarise myself with uh, some of the machinery here. It's, it's all a little bit old and it's all very different from what we used to, so it might take a little while. But it all seems to be in working order. There's a little bit of wear and tear on some things. They don't, they don't look too damaged, but they, they do all seem to need a bit of clean. So we, that might be our first investment, is uh, just to get a hose, spray things down, get us a little jet wash. So as for, say, the setup, we are going for normal difficulty. Everything is turned on. We have got plowing, we have got weeds, we have got stones, we have got crop destruction. It's all there. We are not running precision farming at the moment because there have been reports of conflicts with the update and the DLC. So once that gets an update, we'll bring that in. But other than that, we're running as we normally do. I think we're set at three or four day months and uh, yeah that gives us time to uh, do what we want to do like i say i'm not in a rush we can take a little bit of time doing harvests we're not necessarily going to do an episode a day or an episode two days i'm just going to enjoy it i'm going to have some fun i'm going to record what i want to record i'm going to play as much of it as i want to play and then we'll, we'll put it together and we'll see how far we do we're not going to be overly heavy on the rp it's just nice to have a story to what you're doing and a reason why or at least i think it is so by the looks of it our deutz here has about 5000 litre capacity i wasn't sure of the capacity so i set the trailer to meet me at the other end so i could loop it here and empty because i wasn't sure if i'd get one or two i didn't know how good a yield we were going to get off fields i hate when they rhyme despite the fact that i like rhyming <laughs> yes uh, i'm looking forward to this this is this is the sort of map i would normally play on in the background and not record on if there's a little european map out there or if there's a big eastern european map out with lots of little fields on trust me i've been playing on it now when i did a my first look at this map and did my look at the crops I did get a comment, I forget who it was, I might try and dig it up and put it up in editing, uh, saying uh, I should definitely do a small field, small map, old equipment, retro style type let's play. 
I've already done that once, no one watched it. We we did Deloina, the mini map mini series. Yeah, I, I think with this one, maybe people might be a little bit more interested because it's a map for all, and we'll see. But I'm looking forward to it. I intend on having this as a long running, long standing series. At the point of me recording this, American Falls requires an update. I know Lance is very busy, he's got a new map he's working on, he's got some non-farming stuff he's working on, he's got some prefab stuff he's working on, and now obviously he has to update American Falls, so there's no pressure on him to do that, I'm going to find something else to do, should the time comes that American Falls comes back, and people want to see me continue on that, then, then we shall, I think. Shire Farm is progressing on nicely now. I think with a little bit of with a bit of graft and some hard work I can I can crack through that pretty quickly. So it looks like 50% is what we'll get on and up and down. Let's get our canola in there. Let's turn the head off because that is noisy. This this harvester is noisy, it's just driving it around is quite noisy. I think from where I had to reset my game or reinstall my game, I think my audio levels are back to default. I can't remember for the life of me where I used to have them, uh, so I have adjusted them just now, and they're down to like 70. But I can, if that's too loud, I'll adjust it and edit in. But this looks, looks nice with its uh, canola header on the front. Get a little bit of rapeseed in there. This is uh, a lovely little mod. So, I'll tell you what, I'll crack on with this, and uh, we'll see what the time is when we've finished our first harvest here on Zoinka. That's our little canola harvest done. I'm hoping I can get the last of this in here. Probably not. I bet we'll have a have a couple of litres that just won't fit. Yeah, I think there's still another thousand or two litres in the harvester. have been I've uh, set up the set up our, our grain storage set up the silos you have to uh, put the auger on and off for unloads and you have to put the auger on and off for loading so get that ready quite cool nice little feature I quite like it and we've <laughs> filled with the locks and what have you I think I've set myself up to empty empty out on the left hand side so we'll see if I got that right as well, won't we? Looks like we have. How about that? I did something good. Now, what sort of collision am I going to get? Is this going to make me pop about? Nope, that's fine. Lovely job. get the rest of the canola out of the harvester and uh, I'll show you how our silo system works. Would you believe it? 200 litres, 201 litres of canola was left inside the uh, inside the harvester. So it's cost us more in fuel than that will ever be when that gets sold. Speaking of selling, we've had a little look and the best time to sell our canola around here is December. So we're going to be keeping this in here for a while. We'll, uh, Pop that in. We'll find that as we're going around in this series, triggers will come on and off because I'm going to be trying to use different stuff where I won't always know where stuff is until I've learned. Right. Let's just park this up here. And this will also give you a chance to see that this is a proper storing unit as well, so we can load up, I think. We can get a fair few hundred pallets in here. But we can also use it for actual storage if we've not got pallets in. That's why I went for this one. 
something different from me. Anyway, I was going to show you my silo system. So over here, since we were unloading, we had the unloading org of it attached. And we can just get rid of that when we're not unloading, because that'll be in the way. And when we're emptying, have that set up, and then you can move that. So we're emptying into the trailer from there. Once you've done your emptying, put it all away. And then you've got plenty of space to work with still. And I think that's absolutely brilliant. I forget who these are by. I'll try and remember to put that up in editing. But yeah, these these are really cool. This is our main. This is a silo extension. But I think they are really cool. Really cool. Right, let's get things put away. And I think with that, that's probably our first day in the bag. I'm going to finish unpacking the Land Rover. Next time out, we're going to try and get stuck into and have a go at some of the new vegetable crops that we've got ready to harvest. But I think, really, because both of these are ready, we've got our red beets and our parsnips. But until I'm more proficient with the machinery, probably going to need to get the sorghum in first so at least I can have a wide berth turnaround at the top here because I will be trying to manage traffic down at the other end because we've got the road that runs into town that does get busy at times but yeah this is it this this is Zaloika this is our new home it's going to be home for a while like I say we're going to be relaxed it's going to be chilled there's going to be no pressure on this we're doing what we want when we want we're having fun with it Hopefully you're going to enjoy it. Hopefully you'll stick with me. If you have enjoyed this one, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when the videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.